All right, great. Thank you so much for having me at this year's virtual TEDx event. And it's interesting, masks. Wow, I actually don't have to wear this for a few moments. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. So my discussion today will be a brief overview, although I can talk for hours and hours on intersections of data and technology in the midst of COVID and analyzing that impact and what it's had on the leverage and use of data and technology in COVID. So healthcare and data and technology, they go hand in hand. We've been using technology and healthcare for many years. And I think that in most recent this year, the data and technology has really taken um, an accelerated turn with the COVID pandemic and how providers respond to that. And not only providers, but patients, families, and just our communities at large. So this section will focus on looking at contact tracing, testing, and some very specific COVID related initiatives that have been brought to NGII. There have been so many significant breakthroughs in development of technology, applications, software. As you say, there's an app for everything. So certainly COVID is no exception to that. So we have some real great innovations that have been presented to us. And I know that they've been leveraged throughout the state and the nation to assist with the COVID pandemic and really utilizing data and technology to help um, look at some predictive analytics and also assist us with some insights to the virus and how we can best control it. So COVID first was detected in the United States in January and quickly became labeled as a pandemic in March by the World Health Organization. Healthcare really has not seen anything like this in quite some time, um, such a widespread pandemic with very little knowledge of really what the virus was about, how it would impact not only healthcare workers, but also patients, families, and just the nation at large. So trying to figure out how to properly treat, control the spread and put information out there for people to understand this virus has been incredibly critical. So looking at data, what really is data? Data is, uh, you know, refers to raw input um, that gives you meaningful output. So we key things into a computer and particularly in healthcare, we key a lot of things into the computer and we wonder what happens with it from there. So the beauty of that is we're collecting information upfront to then report on that information and look at trends so that we can become more insightful and educated with information that we gather. So why is that critical? That helps us determine what to do with the data that we collect and how we could best help our patients and physicians and clinical workers take that information to care for their patients. So COVID data has been used to track positive cases, negative cases, and people just in general that have been tested. Uh, the, that data allows us to plan and to make our decisions based on the information that, that is received back from that. So interestingly, in the state of New Jersey, this could this is probably the best culmination of data that that we've seen. The state of New Jersey has taken a very proactive approach in creating a COVID based dashboard that's on NJ.gov site. And you're able to look at that COVID dashboard and filter it by county towns. You look at active cases, total cases, and then it also compares what's happening in New Jersey to other states and to the nation. So I invite everybody to, to check that out. It's uh, up-to-date information that is really quite useful and helpful. So looking at technology that I have here, you know, a laptop, an iPhone, and an iPad. So perhaps some people use the laptop for work and in healthcare, we're wheeling this around into patient rooms, we're keying things in. Patients sometimes feel maybe we're not paying full attention to them, but we're looking more at the technology. But rest assured, the information is going into this system to then be used by clinical folks and physicians, nurses, and really helping them document their care to best prepare them for what they would need. And then an iPhone, you know, it's not just meant to make phone calls or Snapchat, but really looking at FaceTime apps. So in the past, FaceTime app was probably used for you to connect with your family, your friends, kids. But now FaceTime, you know, during the COVID pandemic became a critical, critical tool 
for physicians to connect with their patients, whether they were at home, in the hospital, and also uh, used in facilities where their loved ones were living in a facility with restricted visitation. They were not allowed to see their loved ones, so they were able to leverage this little piece of technology to stay connected. So what once was just a phone for phone calls and fun things has now become a real critical staple in, in COVID. And then also leveraging iPad use. So these devices and, and technologies have really become a, a staple and critical component of capturing data and information to be able to then share that out with our communities. So the state of New Jersey has a repository for the Communicable Disease Reporting and Surveillance System. So that sounds like a mouthful, but the acronym, because healthcare has an acronym for everything, it's CDRSS. And you can go visit, again, the NewJersey.gov website where they go into quite a bit of detail on the Communicable Disease Reporting and Surveillance System. So in a nutshell, what does that mean? Um, that is where our public health partners are instantly reporting and tracking communicable diseases, particularly now critical with COVID-19 to be able to have that information readily available. Communicable diseases have been reported for years upon years. And back in 2019, there were 1.2 million cases that were being reported. And where we are now in just six months, that number has jumped to 4.1 million. So the amount of cases that are being reported are just significantly growing. And this is a good, really great display of where data is leveraged to look at the tracking and trending of communicable diseases. And it really gives insights to the state of what's happening in New Jersey. So I'll touch a little bit on the testing sites. New Jersey launched many initiatives for additional testing sites to be able to accommodate the need of the New Jersey population. So those testing sites popped up all throughout the state. One critical component that they all had in common was they're all collecting data. They're all inputting data, taking manual information, manual meeting. I write my name on a piece of paper. I hand it to someone. They key it into the laptop and that data is sent then to a centralized repository. So looking at the pop-up sites and having those readily available really streamlined the process for patients to be able to quickly get tested. Data was analyzed. Labs were able to produce the results and quickly get back in touch with the patient. All this is leveraged and done through the use of data and technology. And another interesting component with all of this, because of the spread of this virus, contact tracing has been an essential piece to look at, and again, leveraging data and technology to be able to do that. So contact tracing, that is very critical to this process with COVID and controlling the spread of the virus. So that is used to identify those who have been in contact with people that have tested positive for COVID to increase the awareness, to let them know so that they can then take the preventative measures they need to with their family, friends, coworkers, and so forth. So contact tracing has been a very interesting area for app development. We've had a lot of people that have developed innovative ways to handle contact tracing from a registration standpoint to test resulting to notifying, and then actually having something that you can walk into a place and, and show your, your test results. Um, so that's where the intersection of healthcare data and technology, really all of that goes hand in hand. So where do we go from here? This is a really quick, very high level talk about just some areas where COVID-19 intersects with data and technology. And we continue to study the virus as, as a whole, um, as a community. We have to be aware there are some great information posted on various websites of what we could do to not only prevent the spread, but also help and assist with reporting information that we have to help the state and others around us continue to monitor and gather that information. And then looking at that to prevent and control outcomes. So that's where data and technology really comes into play. So I hope you enjoyed this really brief, high-level COVID-19 TEDx talk. And don't forget, stay safe and continue to mask up.